Sometimes people ask me what I do on my bird hunting trips. Here's a short video of some stuff we did on our last trip to New Mexico and Arizona. Here I am crossing the Rio Grande River outside of Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. As you can see, the water's not up too high, but if it got any higher, it'd be in the dog box. You can see the, uh, it comes right up to the base of the trailer. Here's a shot from the inside of the truck looking out. I almost said cockpit, but uh, you can see that we actually had somebody going ahead of us to make sure that uh, we can make it across. Some of the driving was really challenging. Here we're coming out of a, across the really rough road that came out into a creek bed, into a stream bed, actually a river bed. You can't see it too well there, but that's about a 45 degree bank, and we've got a trailer yet to go behind us. Look at the tilt on that. I think this dog's going to ride that time. This is a Mern's quail, a mountain quail. Here's Ruby relaxing after running in the mountains for two hours. Hunting, is, hunting in the desert is tough on the dogs. Notice the dog boots. See here, that's a uh, cap uh, with a, a coil, and here's some of the stuff we're running up against here, this cactus, and here's what the Choya cactus looks like with cap. Notice the dog boots again, a little blood on the muzzle. But even so, it's a beautiful country, and uh, even especially when it rains, there's the rainbow. And here's Cap bringing a quail that he just uh, recovered, retrieved after he pointed it, and here's a proud uh, picture of what Cap brought home. It can get real cold and windy. Here's a dust storm and it's about 20 degrees out there. Here's another shot of the same day. It doesn't look so windy, but it is cold there. Some days were pretty nice. Here I'm pointing to some quail tracks in the desert. And uh, here we're taking a break. It's still pretty cold, but it's not too bad in the 40s. And then finally we finished up with a toast on fine China. Three bird hunters.